We hear all the time about the politics of the asylum seeker issue, but not so often about people who survive the trip and then make a new life in Australia. Almost 2,000 children have made the dangerous journey to Australia by boat, unaccompanied, in the past four years. One of those is Bashir Yusufi, a 16-year-old Afghan student at Holroyd High School in Sydney's West. Bashir is an orphan and he fled war-torn Afghanistan by himself in 2010, leaving behind three younger brothers in search of safety and a better life. Monique Shafter takes a look at how he's faring. Okay, everybody, so as you know, we've been looking at Shakespeare and his plays, and do I have a volunteer to read Romeo? Thanks, Bashir. I prefer to die than to live without your love. Many young people would be very scared to do the sort of things that Bashir has done. He's got a lot of guts. But he walks away from his love as badly as boys. Sadly. As sadly as boys on their way to school. This particular English class is comprised purely of students who've had three years or less in an Australian school setting. You know how I feel about you. Do you know do you love me too? I know that When I left Afghanistan I was fourteen years old. It was because of Taliban. Every day is fighting and the people is killing each other. So I didn't go to school, so I didn't, I didn't have that, this opportunity I have at the moment. We have some students who initially might block everything out, struggling to survive day by day, and some have never held a pen or a pencil in their lives and have never had a book. What kind of seeing at the end of recess? Yeah. What have you got period three? Holroyd's quite unique in the, in the sense that it has one of the largest percentage of refugee students in the state. Africa! Yeah, Africa is the best. We've got approximately 62% that come from um, refugee type situations. Oh! You want some? No, 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 no. It's biscuit. It's biscuit. <laughs> Bashir, I would say, is one of those model students, despite his background and the circumstances he's been through. <laughs> I see refugee students offer resilience. They uh, then bring with them the attitude of, of a desire to learn. The function of the motherboard is to connect all the components. That's number one. From that, from when I arrived to Christmas Island, I found a friend, he can speak English a little bit. So I took his dictionary, then after that I'll, I'll read the words and then I remember the words. Like It's like a daily, like 15 words or 20 words. I remember every day. I live with Mohsin. He's, he was with me in Christmas Island and he's like my brother. What about your exams? When you, when you it's go? next week, next week. Oh, it's gonna be very hard, man. Because this is the final exam. He is alone and I am alone, so he and me became a family here. We have nobody else here to talk with, to sit with. So me and Bashir live together, come to school together, go home together all our activity together and like when we go to the city we walk around the opera house life is quite good and life is safe and everything is there is many opportunity and everything is ready to go so the only thing sometimes I can't concentrate probably and sometimes worry about my brothers and I wish they come to here soon so they can study. I'm waiting still I'm waiting for the result, what the government will say. Yes or no. Despite the, the challenges that our students have, we have um, students, approximately 40% have actually gone through to university in the last three years, and that's way above the, the state average. I'm really interested to go uni. 
um, to do accounting. I'm not sure, but it comes in my heart to be to be accounted. I want to be a police officer when I finish my school. And so after HSC, I'll go to police academy. The pride, their uniform and their head. I like to be like them and feel the pride and do something for Australia, to do something good that Australia has given me. They come together in class and work quite well to, to improve their skills. But she is an amazing young person and we wish him all the best in the future. And today you got freedom, and today you got rights, and today you got everything. And you got the best one. I feel I am belong to Australia, I'm not belong to Afghanistan or I'm not belong to some other country. So that's why I'm always feeling I'm always proud of myself. But she you took that dangerous journey, but you will make a better life in here because this is your own country.